Um, this is just a little video about something I've been considering. Now recently I've been sort of going back over things that have happened to me in the past and then applying sort of my new knowledge to them and then kind of rejigging, just ha having a different kind of perspective on those things because of what I've learnt now. And one of those, a lot of these things have got to do with school actually and how I was taught, what I was taught. And then it struck me once, at, once in English we read this, um, a part of the syllabus was this book called Brother in the Land. And you can see like, see here on this little Amazon title, the Amazon thing that I've got up about the book. It's a puffin book. Um, that's the publication house and it's part of the UK. It was, I don't know if it is anymore, it was part of the UK school syllabus. And it's a, it's a really fucking horrific book actually. It's about a nuclear holocaust and I recall graphic, um, really graphic violence in it, like, like, like horrible and like really, um, it's been a long time since I've read it but so basically I think that this book was included in the school syllabus as part of an agenda to really make us afraid actually because the, the fear of nuclear war is such a strong um, such a strong thing and such a such a useful tool to have with a population whilst you're like socially engineering because if you can have this bogeyman, this threat of this bogeyman, then it, you can rationalise as much government spending on defence, etc, etc. But also there's other implications. Um, I believe the nuclear industry is very um, shady. I think there's a lot of disinformation about nuclear energy. Um, there's some really good videos on that that I can link you to in the bottom if you're interested. Basically, I, um, ra like radioactivity isn't what we're told it is necessarily and... Um, like pl plutonium and stuff isn't as um, isn't as dangerous as people think it is, and because there's all this um, because there's all this kind of fear around it, it creates a monopoly for the energy companies, and now it's uh, yeah, now it's just a cornered market basically, and really it's a step towards free energy. We can have it, but have it anyway. So I think this fear from this book feeds into that as well. Um, really interesting. I think there's a lot of. I'm now thinking about other ways in which I could have been psychologically operated on in school, and I'm sure there's many things. But this book really stood out for me as it's graphic. It's very graphic for a 13, 14 year old to be introduced to the idea of a nuclear holocaust in English. Like English, you don't need to. <laughs> English is, you know, language, poetry. You can, you could go down so many routes with it, but rather than rather than teaching something creative and joyous, they've decided to include a title that's about a nuclear holocaust. So yeah, just something I thought. If anyone else got read this book or read this book in English, then maybe hit up the comments and tell me what you think. And if you think there's any... If you can come up or remember any of the many psychological operations that they use in schools, on school children, into, for conditioning into the world or society, then yeah. I'd be really interested to hear about them. Cool. Peace.